A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to TV shows that deserve the spotlight. So, I guess what we can do now is talk a bit about something that's a little bit more recent. Because a lot of shows I've talked about were mostly older ones, and so I feel like at this point, why don't we go on ahead and talk about something more recent? Like, Big Time Rush, how about? This is basically a rock band, four young adults, known as Kendall, James, Logan, and Carlos. They're on a mission to bring about as many good songs as they possibly can, having all kinds of crazy adventures and escapades within each other, sometimes getting into fights, sometimes having a few jokes here and there, and sometimes having problems with their manager and other peers of theirs. But, you know what though, for something that ran between 2010 and 13, you know, a near four year time span basically. Let's roll through the episodes real quick though. I feel like that pretty much covers that part. But hey, that's still a pretty good amount of things to cover here. It probably also is worth mentioning though, that not just the show itself, it's also pretty awesome for what it is. Like I could probably name several of my favorite moments. Like how about this point where the manager of Big Time Rush ends up getting purried in cement and starts making Godzilla sound effects while breaking free from it and we also can't forget about that part where James covers himself in spray on tan and everybody's trying to wash it off of him. Or even that one little part that takes place where all four of the members are in detention. <laughs> oh boy. Basically a little school setting that takes place with their manager expelling them by the end of the episode. Though, again, like I've said, that's not the only thing that makes the show itself so great. Having a bunch of fun, memorable moments in there to make it worthwhile, no matter how many times you view it. There's also the songs. Yes, basically, three major studio albums, along with a fourth that's situated for England for the most part. You basically got a lot of material to cover with in terms of songs. Like from the 2010 and 2011 seasons alone, such songs in there like Oh Yeah, Worldwide, Big Time Rush's official theme song, which in fact is a part of the intro to each episode. And we definitely can't forget a multitude of others that came and went as well. Basically going from Big Time Rush's self-titled album in 2010 to their 2013 album, which not only was the last album they made, but also the means to basically close down the series for good on a rather positive high note known as 24-7. And well, all these albums I've basically owned for many years now, almost since they were first released on each occasion. So when you get down to it, the albums, the cast, and I feel like that the writing was also well done on all fronts and I am especially proud to just simply say this is one of my favorite shows I ever watched in the early 2010s. The year 2010 itself was just a phenomenal time to be alive in. And I can sure tell you that knowing that what we have in fact been through really was not at all a good peace of mind, but 
Knowing things have actually been turning up even better than they used to be, oh man. I almost do feel like that at some point in the future, I just might have a year that's even better than 2010. I can't really point out if it's gonna be anytime soon, knowing that we'll likely have a few problems to get through. And man, I probably could talk about a lot of great things that have happened this year, but that itself is a different story. More or less, it could probably be its own series, describing each year as it went down for me, or probably for anybody in general. Anyways though, Make Time Rush, amazing show, small summary, but still hopefully worthwhile, and a good reason to say, there are lots of great shows out there, even if they don't seem as fondly remembered nowadays as they were back then. And knowing that James Maslow himself, the eldest member of the group, actually made an appearance in Big Brother Celebrity Edition, or just Celebrity Big Brother, to be more sophisticated, that's really just proof that even after many years, you can still find these people wishing that their work got even better. So I guess in that whole regard, this is basically all I have to say about the show entirely. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It's a big time rush of full on excitement. Well anyways though, that's what I got to offer for this point here in the series. So I will come around back for more pretty soon. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, Follow me wherever you can find me and stay on the Hollywood side if you'd like to see more.